if we hit play our character will turn in place properly left and right and he will transition into movement and from movement he will he can transition directly into turning in place and we are still using the aim offset and everything works together quite well Hello and welcome back. In this episode we're going to continue working on uh, Cobalt Movement Animated Pro and we're going to set up some state machines and we're going to work with states, leaning and uh, turning in place to improve our animation uh, immersion. So for that we need to make some proper changes to the animograph. First of all we need a state machine and by the way you can nest state machines inside state machines so this one will be just for um, being grounded and um, standing because we might want to do separate grounded for crouching um, we'll need this in a moment uh, somewhere else so let's just connect this and what we want here is we want to have a separate state for idle inside idle we just want to have idle pose which is one of those but not root motion we want the in place idle uh, pose and compile save uh, go back here and we want to add a state which will be locomotion that goes in and out and it goes right from here here so we want to go into idle if our um, state is idle and we want to go into locomotion if our state is idle not okay so now we'll go from one to other and the locomotion doesn't have any animations in it so we just take this cut it out paste it here no problem it's already working so we can now hit play see examples and now we have this stop state and separate locomotion state that works both in strafe walking and running directionally okay we are still using the same aim offset uh, after the entire blend so inside the idle pulse right now we're just playing idle but what we really want is to have another state machine uh, or we can just do blends based on certain values but uh, well state machine is, uh, is easier to handle and easier to understand so we'll have state machine and it will be the standing idle state machine and here we'll have a state which is just idle and here we'll just paste our idle and we have a separate state which is turn in place okay and to enter turn in place uh, we need to take lean which is um, just the value of rotation of the character in compared to the rotation in the preview frame so if our lean absolute value which is also very important because lean can be a positive or negative value so if the absolute value of lean is greater than let's say one so if it is and this value by the way is normalized so if you are running very high frame rates or very low frame rates or or uh, you slow down time with uh, custom time dilatation it will still have the same value doesn't matter what the frame rate is so uh, this should be greater than one then we enter this state and well obviously if we just copy it and go back here if this is not true then we go back into idle state uh, okay and in turn in place we want to do a blend pose by bool and this bool is just taking the lean value and we're checking if the lean value is positive or negative value we don't have to do greater or equal we don't have to care about equal because it's either from the range of one to infinity or minus one to minus the infinity because of how we set up the transition into these states that's why i use the state machine because it's easier to control all the variables that you enter and exit 
uh, the state machine at the same time. So here, let's say point 0.25, point 0.25, and we want to have animations, and this one will be turn 90, and let's find proper one. So this is movement lines, pro animations, root motion, so this is in place. Okay, we want to play this one. And by the way, if lean is a positive value, that means we are rotating left, and if it's negative value, it means we are rotating right. So here it will be turn 90 right, and again in place animation, compile, save, and that's everything, hit play. Now if I hold right mouse button and I hit this 90 degrees threshold, you start playing turning in place animation, but our turn is super fast right now as our character is turning with uh, 360 degrees per second, which is a lot. Let's change it back to something smaller like 180 and 180 here. And let's go back here. You can see that the animation looks a lot better when he's rotating slower, but if due to gameplay reasons we do want to spin so fast, uh, we need to be able to control the animation speed as well, right? So we go back uh, here into those values and we can expose play rate. Just expose, expose, and we can take the lean value and it doesn't matter if it's positive or negative, we want to take it absolute value and it's already normalized and we want to um, well map range clamped so if lean is from one to five it will have a play rate of one to two let's use this value and see how it looks like okay a lot better Whenever you use animations that are just uh, a lot faster playing than normal, they will look a bit clunky. Like if you, for example, say that the max range is not two, but let's say 1.6 or something like that, it will actually look a lot better. And you can see that it's transitioning from turning place directly into movement without problems. Uh, because what actually happens is that we transition from this state to this state immediately, ignoring all the transitions that are taking place in here, because this entire state machine becomes invalid. And uh, for all the state machines inside state machines, we can actually use inertialization as blend mode. And we can go further and check this as inertialization. And if we go here, we can inertialize here, add it here, compile, save, and it will work with inertialization on all blends. You can see that there is slight foot sliding here, so I guess we can do one of two things. One is uh, increase the target frame rate, which will affect the normalized uh, both lean and aim smoothness. So if we hit now. the lean values should actually change so you go into even graph we can take the lean value and we can do a print string and we can print the lean and we want to print it only for the duration of one frame and hit play so now uh, lean is between six to minus six uh, oh because this didn't change Let's hit play again. Okay, now it changed to be 3 to minus 3. Mm, okay, let's go back to anim graph. Let's go to our idle. Turn in place. And let's say that this is 2 and this is 3. Okay. So this is one way to do uh, rotation in place. Now, if we hit play, our character will turn in place properly, left and right. And he will transition into movement. And from movement, he, will he can transition directly into turning in place. 
and we are still using the aim offset and everything works together quite well.